Hi, my name is Dhirendra. Welcome to the channel called Psychology of Minds. In today's video, we will talk about why the protest in Israel happened a month back. What was the reason which led the people in Israel to come forward onto the street to show their anger and resentment against the proposed bills? And what is the psychology involved? Why people in a democratic world or people in general protest and why it leads to a disruption in the society? So as we know, Prime Minister Netanyahu is quite popular in Israel because he has been a two-time MP, MP and Prime Minister already and he has, uh, he has a group of members who have formed now a government which is promising some kind of stability for them. In the, in the month of January, his government proposed a bill which is going to have control about the appointments of the judiciary. They also wanted a veto on Supreme Court decisions and wanted to remove judicial review of the legislations passed by the uh, parliament. So what would, what would have been done if these bills would have been passed? In one word, simply the, there would have been the supremacy of parliament over the legal system that is Supreme Court. So this would have been against the basic tenet of the constitution of uh, Israel as far as checks and balances are concerned. Because in any society which is given free power to implement, to amend and make its own rules without any checks and balance are going to have long term impact. So the constituent assembly or whatever the constituent makers of uh, Israel were wise enough to ensure that there is a check on Supreme Court and there is a check on the people elected by the people. That means MPs or the executives elected by the people and they will have a certain structure, a certain mechanism wherein Supreme Court or judiciary will be able to review whatever is being formed, formulated, whatever is being proposed under the purview of the constitution. So uh, the people started coming in groups, they started protesting on the streets, they had protested even on uh, the residence of Netanyahu in Jerusalem. And there were certain resentments also as far as uh, public and the civil society is concerned. In fact, the Supreme Court president himself had said that any system without checks and balance would be ending into a mess. His uh, defense minister also resigned in protest of these implementation of bills. So finally, because of the pressures from different parts of the society in Israel, Netanyahu finally decided to withhold or withdraw the bills as of now, because he feared that there might be a civil war kind of a situation in Israel. And since Israel is already having so many enemies around his boundary, including countries like Jordan, countries like Syria and the Arab world. So in order to avoid any kind of unwanted situation, he has for the time being led to uh, abstaining of passing of these bills. We don't know what is stored in future, but it looks that for the time being, he has withheld his decision of taking forward the decision to make parliament supreme over the judicial system, which will ensure that the parliamentarians or the politicians are free from any kind of checks and balance, which will lead to a great degradation of the basic motives of constitution of uh, Israel. Now coming on to the idea why these protests in a, judici in a democratic setup take place. What are the psychological reasons why people come out and send, uh, give support to certain sections or certain ideas and they are willing to risk, uh, take some risks and come forward in support of certain causes. Like protests, they are a means of venting out the moral duty. People in general have this idea that if they find something which is morally correct, they find it ritual to go ahead and support that cause in order to feel a sense of connecting. Again, the second point is sense of belonging to the society or a group with which you reside or are together. So for all such people who have 
that sense of belonging they want to show their uh, show of strength and in support of the people who are protesting for the cause which they feel is the common cause and which is against their own idea of understanding of what is the right thing to be done we have discussed two reasons the first being the the idea of being related to a group or that sense of belonging to a group or a country or a place so he, since humans by nature are uh, social animals they want to always be in touch be have uh, be feeling in together and that's why in order to support or in order to feel like they are in a group they go ahead and then group together for a cause which they think is part of their whole group the second reason was the moral outrage people feel that there is a moral obligation for them to take forward the cause which is being under discussion which they feel is under threat so over here in israel they thought that the supremacy of uh, constitution or the checks and balances are going to be at a cost or checks and balances are to be going to be ignored so they thought in the long run it is very important to manage or to have that kind of a society which is democratically elected rather than the far right or any other ideology the third reason can be the sense of duty to perform for a cause which they think is noble over here in israel they thought that the idea of saving democracy was a noble cause and hence students people old age men youngers citizens and even the females all of them came out in support of ensuring that these bills are rejected or these bills are withdrawn by netanyahu government the fourth reason can be the idea of uh, finding uh, that cause which is going to help them have greater idea of themselves that means they feel good about it when they do it so if they felt mm, these groups who were joined together in order to protest and once the uh, once the bills were withdrawn now they have that sense of uh, achievement that okay the government was doing some kind of injustice by doing favors to some people or by protecting the corrupt now once they were in protest and since the bills have been removed they feel that the cause which they were fighting for is now satisfied i mean the reason and the victory or the process or the whole thing has been completed in order to ensure that there is a success of the cause which was noble which was moral which was the need of the hour for the groups which came out into protest the last reason can be that sense of empowerment once you protest and if you feel that the government is not listening to your voices or the government is protecting the elite ones and once there are protests once you come out in support of those protests then it gives you a sense of empowerment so obviously if 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 some group of people comes out and protest and they feel that the government is now forced to listen they get a sense of uh, being powerful in order to be able to ensure that the government is able to follow or understand or at least acknowledge what they are saying so that is kind of sense of uh, powering being given by the protest to all those individuals who otherwise would not have felt same powerful had they been doing it individually so in this video we have covered okay why what were the reasons why it led to protest in uh, israel and what are the psychological factors which led people or which lead people to protest and why they protest not only in israel but in all other countries where they have a system a mechanism to show their anger to show their uh, democratic rights so uh, hope this video has been useful to you guys thank you for your time thanks for your all the attention till now thank you